Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to do a quick video on um, the BTS singer Jungkook. You guys requested this video, so I'm going to pull, I guess, the tarot deck, tea leaf deck, this deck that I made, and Angel Answers to see the overall energy that I pick up from him. So let's get started, okay? So wait, let me just say a prayer. So in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Ask that you connect me to John Koo's energy. <clears throat> so right away, like <laughs> I have like my my stomach hurts. So I don't know if like he. It feels like my stomach is burning. So I don't know if like I'm hearing spicy. I don't know if he his stomach hurts right now when I'm trying to channel. If he like eats spicy food or something with spicy, I heard spicy. Okay. I also do feel like Jean Ku is a very, um, he's a very spiritual person or he has started his spiritual journey. And I do see that he is very, he is starting to become very tapped in. He's becoming more aware of himself and aware of what he really wants in his life. Okay. I also do feel... He's a very nice guy, but he loves a lot of the attention. You guys are like, no shit, he sees he's in the limelight. Of course he's going to like attention. Well, I feel like he really, really likes the attention, and he 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 he's a charmer. Like, I do feel like Jungkook is a charmer. Jungkook is a very, like, he can be all over the place at times, too. Like, I don't even, like I said, I don't even know this guy, but this is what I'm channeling. Um... But let's get started, okay? So let's see the overall energies. Oh, Lord, let me fill these back for Jungkook. Oh, let me we'll do this here, so you guys. So my camera thing is so small. Hold on. Okay. We have the Two of Cups in the reverse. Oh, let me move these. So I don't know if there was a relationship that he was in or um, that he broke up with someone. I don't know if that was if he had a breakup falling out with someone. We have the emperor. The hierophant. Let's see cards that came out. Okay. So let me put these over here. Okay. Okay. So right off the bat, when it comes to Junku. I do see that um, he may have had a recent breakup with someone or a disconnect when it came to um, a connection or relationships. I don't know if he's had a very hard time connecting to people or he's had discon discontentment um, when it came to connections here. But with the Emperor card here, he tells me that he's very, he likes to have control. I definitely get like a very... Um, like very like strict energy like he tends to be the type of guy that i wouldn't be surprised he had like a strict regimen where he does something over and over that's kind of what i was channeling to when i was picking up his energy so i don't know if he like does something over and over and over like he does something like obsessively the emperor tells me that <clears throat> he definitely likes to have control i definitely feel like he really wants the i i really wonder because what I'm just picking up from this energy right off the bat, I, I wonder if he's going to <clears throat> want to leave the group allegedly. And this looks like not leave the career, but looks like possibly go towards something new. I don't know if this is like a solo or what this is, but the Hierophant talks about contracts. Also, I do, again, his spiritual beliefs, his beliefs are changing. 
within his life, within how he may see himself, okay? The Two of Cups could also be like arguments, disagreements, maybe with his band members. I don't know if he's had any arguments, but this definitely feels like love. I don't know if he broke up with someone or he has trouble maintaining relationships or there's like a disharmony. This also talks about contracts, so I don't know if he's happy in the contract he's in right now, okay? But I definitely feel like he is trying to maybe also get advice here. When it, comes to, when it comes to spirituality or what he really wants for himself, okay, I definitely feel like he could be getting mentored spiritually or he could be getting mentored in his group or in his music or in the industry. But there's giving me more of an energy of him kind of tapping more into his spirituality. Um, I definitely feel like he's really learning. Okay, I'm not saying he's going back to school, but this also gives me like a relearning energy. Like I wonder if he's learning something or he's learning a new skill or learning something different when it comes to what he wants. And with the Queen of Cups here, I don't know why I feel I'm getting two intuitive downloads from this. I feel like he really is starting to tap more into his emotions or um what he really loves, but I also do feel like, again, his intuition could be very heightened. I definitely feel like jean Ku is very intuitive. He's a very intuitive guy. And I think he's learning to listen more to his emotions. Maybe before he didn't really listen to his intuition, and I feel like he could be getting downloads. Second message I was getting with this card is I do see something... Because I heard something about grandma, so I don't know if he has, if his grandma or his or mother figure is still alive. But I do get some energy around that strongly in his aura. I don't know what that's about. Um, I'm not going to really channel that too much, but yeah, that's what I got. And with the death card and the ace of swords, the six of pentacles, let me push these over here. Sorry, guys, I just... Trying my best here. Okay. So, the death card. There's something that... And with the two... Falling under the two of cups, this could definitely be about love. So, I don't know if there's a connection that he can't let go of or a partnership or something that he can't... This could all also be his perception of love. Maybe perception with letting certain things go. Maybe there's something energetically that he can't let go of. I also do feel like there's some change that he's avoiding or that he or that it's not happening. I kind of get this energy of him kind of being avoidant of change or something that wants to change. OK, but it's almost like maybe a fear. <clears throat> a fear. That's what I heard. I also do see that I wouldn't be surprised if he had anxiety, if he suffered from anxiety. That's what I was getting when I was also channeling. Um, I do see that he would have had a lot of anxiety, like he would have maybe panic attacks or may, and I feel like it's because of his overthinking. I definitely do think that he overthinks a lot and he thinks, 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 thinks a lot. So I should have looked up his sign. Damn. I wouldn't be surprised if he was like an earth sign, a Virgo, Taurus, or maybe an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius here, because he's thinking a lot. He really is, he's going to be enlightened about something here. Yeah, the, the Queen of Cups. But with the death card here, he's going to be enlightened about something that maybe he needs to close out. Maybe there's something, maybe he's waiting to get some information or some truth, okay? With the Six of Pentacles, this could be definitely a contract, but I was just saying earlier, I wonder if there's like, something with money or maybe it's not an equal exchange in the band or maybe there's some disharmony with the band members or the contract maybe the manager this looks like some type of like disorganization or money being spent poorly or like a contract deal that he may not want to be in anymore and he, he may be trying to gain clarity to change something maybe like a document or to like maybe he's waiting on some news here alleged purposes only but definitely something about the band members or money. Maybe he wants, like I said, I feel like this guy wants to do something different. Not saying he wants to leave music. I'm not saying that. I don't see that. I don't feel that. I feel like he wants to maybe do, maybe be more independent. 
I'm also smelling nail polish. <laughs> Sorry, guys, my readings are so random. Like, I'll smell random things. So I don't know if, like, he likes nail polish. Something about nail polish, okay? I just get random messages sometimes, y'all. Please forgive me. Like, I just, I can't help when I smell certain things because I'm a clario clairsentience. Like, I, I can smell certain things, right? With the chariot. Let's clarify the chariot, y'all. Because this is something like, something that's not moving. Maybe with the, maybe he feels stuck with the band or with the contract. Or he feels stuck to maybe giving to a situation that <clears throat> he wants to. He also, John Cook, work on your throat chakra. Because there's something that he wants to say or he wants to express. But it's like he feels kind of like he can't right now. Um... I also do feel he could have been very impulsive as well. The Knight of Wands could have been like, also, <laughs> I feel like he could have been very impulsive or that could be what he's trying to change. Maybe he could have been very impulsive with money or very impulsive with certain things. And I feel like this is also what could be keeping him stuck. Maybe also not really making a decision we're gonna go into that further but I do get player energy to here so I wouldn't be surprised if he was a little player maybe that's why the two of cups is here maybe that's why connections weren't working out because maybe he was a player okay I'm not trying to call you out Jean Coup you're I think you're a nice guy <laughs> I'm just saying like I just what I'm getting intuitively or maybe he's very um inconsistent with his decisions like I was just saying with the two of swords it doesn't have to be him being a player but I definitely feel like he he needs to make a decision. Like, I feel like that is what his angels, his, his spirit team and what the angels are showing me is that he needs to make a decision when it comes to his career. It could be about love. It could be about love. It could be about maybe changing his ways or this could be about moving forward to something new. I, I honestly feel like it's a mixture of like maybe some love, but more so his career. Okay. <clears throat> So let's see. You guys, you guys see me shuffling, okay? So let's see. Cause I don't want to like hit the camera while I'm shuffling and the thing falls. Okay, so we got. Yeah. Yeah, the hangman, the knight of pentacles, the three of swords. I feel like there's some heartbreak here. There's some sadness. It doesn't have to be love, but it does kind of give me the energy that maybe this could have been a relationship or something that wasn't moving. Maybe this could be his career. I'm not saying that things were not moving before, but maybe he feels kind of stuck now with the situation and maybe he's feeling it's like a stagnant energy i definitely feel like that's why he's being guided to go in a new direction and there's like some heartbreak or some sadness okay knight of pentacles of versus is like not moving things not moving or not going at the pace that he maybe wanted it to or this could have been a relationship here that didn't go that stopped or into connections I'm also getting a breadcrumbing energy, but I feel like his perception, he's starting to change his perception. Um, I definitely feel like, again, that spiritual awakening, he's getting that aha moment. There's definitely an awakening he's getting. I feel like he's starting to realize certain things that don't serve him and that he needs to walk away from certain things. Six of Swords, the Fool card, the Eight of Cups. I feel strongly that he could possibly be moving to a new direction could be maybe moving locations alleged purposes only but this is also telling me that he could be possibly moving to i feel like he may go solo he may decide to walk away and do something new <clears throat> yeah look at that the two of swords the two of pentacles four yeah he's in his head a lot. i wouldn't be surprised if he had migraines because i'm getting a migraine right now but there's something that he needs to make a decision about he may have a libra moon or rising <clears throat> or Libra Sun. He may have I wouldn't be surprised if this guy had a lot of Libra in his chart. Four of Swords, Two of Pentacles. He goes back and forth. Four of Swords. It's like he he can get burnt out. I wouldn't be surprised if this guy also had dreams. He would be having vivid dreams. I'm hearing REM sleep. Okay. And my throat is getting kind of like 
So there's something that John, I feel like his throat can also get tired out when he sings that he needs to drink more tea because my throat is literally like <clears throat> dying out. And I feel like he, when he sings or there's something he wants to say, but I also feel like when he sings, he needs to drink some more tea. Okay. Because my throat is kind of going out. <clears throat> yeah, my throat is going out and I'm, I'm not sick. <laughs> But um, I, de I wouldn't be surprised if he would have had, like, vivid dreams or something here. So let me pull from this deck. Deck that I'm... Oh, y'all. This is big deck. I need to shuffle this. Hold on. Okay. Wow. All right, yeah. Wow. Okay. <laughs> what did What did I just say? All right, we have soulmate and marriage. So I I do feel like he's gonna get married. I don't know if he's again. I don't feel he's in a connection with someone, but I do see that he's gonna he's gonna possibly he will get married. I feel like this could be the next two to four years with a soulmate. He's gonna feel a very strong soul connection to someone here, okay? With sleep issues, nightmares again. I wouldn't be surprised if he needed to get a massage too. Jean Ku, I heard massage. I don't know if you like getting massages, but I feel like massages would be good for you. We got Libra, Father. Okay, something about his father, Libra, Summer. Yeah, the angels are saying you need to take a risk. You need to take a leap of faith. OCD. So there's something that he does repeatedly or something. This could maybe his father had OCD or he, he got or someone has OCD here. Okay, take what resonates. Fall. He may, something may happen in the fall. In the summer, he may go on a tour, but fall. I'm also smelling water. Looks like it could be like a beach or like a waterfall. Okay, it could be like a waterfall. Why did I hear waterfall? What are you angels trying to say, angels? Waterfall. It could be like a waterfall. It could be like Niagara or some type of other waterfall, okay? We got online fights, so maybe some drama. Three, three, three. He could be seeing three, three, three a lot. <clears throat> I do see like a mansion, a new home for him. Okay, something new coming in for him. Let's see. one more initials a j r may be a significance we have fights obsession so this looks like something third party so there could be like third party drama, <clears throat> maybe in a past relationship, or this could be like one of the members fighting or there's some drama regarding their band. Okay, I'm gonna leave it at that. But let's see what the tea leaf has to say. Let me put this back. Now this one I can shuffle like <laughs> without it. Shit, guys, I just don't want the camera to fall. heartache over which you no longer have remember i was just saying <clears throat> three of swords there's some heartbreak here we have march <clears throat> maybe something happened in march maybe there was a separation in march 
Okay. Give me some more for Jean Coup's energy angels. Whoa, these wanted to fly out. July. So yeah, and look at the water. <clears throat> Something about the water, the ocean. Okay. Time, bruh. Time to get out of a situation. Look at that. Hold on, y'all. Look at that. Jean Coup. I can't make this shit up. Time to get out. Time to go in another direction. Okay? Time to go in another direction, Janku. Oh, Parrot. Someone will gossip about all your secrets. Be careful. But Janku. <clears throat> fuck them. Fuck that Parrot. Janku. Time to get out of a situation. There's something that you need to let go of. I can't make this shit up, y'all. Let me pull two more for John Ku Angels. <clears throat> With this in the reverse, this tells me that this is like major obstacles to overcome. It's in the reverse. I feel like he thinks that if he leaves, it's going to be a major obstacle. Or he maybe this could even be someone. Oh. Maybe there's someone that could be threatening him or making threats if you leave. We're going to say this, or maybe he fears that if he walks away, someone will say something. That there'll be some gossip or something's exposed. Or this could be someone blackmailing him, okay, allegedly. But with this, he feels like, I think he thinks that if he leaves, it's going to be a major obstacle. But it's not, because it's in the reverse. Okay, these cards want to come out. Family sorrow. So something about the grandma, grandmother energy again. Something about the family. Reconciliation. So someone or something from his past could be coming back around. So I'm going to leave it at that. Let me pull the angel answers. What do the angels want to say? Look at that. Let go. All right. Let me. Shit. All right. Let me see. Hold on. Angels, what messages do you have for Jean Ku? Get more information. Yeah, I was saying like he's he's trying to get more information or he's trying to get more like clarity on what to do. I feel like there's someone that's mentoring him. He looks like something spiritual. I I can't shake that feeling. Give me one more. Meditation brings answers and we have to take action. So yeah, Janku, I definitely also see you could be also meditating more or this is what your angels want you to do. You do have Archangel Gabriel, Archangel Michael around you. If you if you even see Janku, I feel like Janku, for you, if you even see like cloud shapes in the in the sky or you feel drawn to looking at the sky or the clouds or lights, Especially when it rains and you see the rain shining, the light shining through the clouds. That's a message from your angels. I don't know why did that is so specific, but that's what I'm getting. Yeah, but you you need to take action. You need to go. You need to finally make a decision here. So that's my reading. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Um, till next time, peace.